Hello techies, welcome back to my YouTube channel Canada Tech. Today we are going to discuss India's pride in Chandrayaan 3. India will become the fourth nation after the United States, the former Soviet Union, now Russia, and China to successfully complete a soft landing on the lunar surface. If Chandrayaan 3, the Indian Space Research Organization's third lunar exploration mission is a success. It is intended for Chandrayaan 3 to land and then send a rover to the moon to investigate the lunar south pole. Chandrayaan 3 was launched on 14th July 2023 at 2.35 pm IST as scheduled from Satish Dhawan Space Center's second launch pad in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh, India. The spacecraft entered lunar orbit on 5th August 2023. It is anticipated that the Chandrayaan-3 mission will achieve a soft landing on the lunar south pole region on 23rd August. Choosing the month of July for the launch of Chandrayaan-3 was a special move because of a calculation made by ISRO regarding the closeness of Earth and Moon. On August 5th, the Indian Space Research Organization achieved a lunar orbit insertion LOI, successfully placing the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft into orbit around the Moon. The LOI operation was carried out from the ISRO telemetry tracking and command network, located in Bangalore. After a series of lunar bound, Manuals on August 17th, the Vikram lander separated from the propulsion module to begin its solo journey to the lunar surface. For these space foreign countries, though it's not a, just a matter of pride, Chandrayaan 3's achievement could really have a positive impact on the Indian economy. The world has already reaped daily rewards from earlier space endeavors, including near global internet access education offered by Starlink, breakthroughs in solar power generation and health technology, and accessibility to clean drinking water through water recycling on the International Space Station. According to numerous assessments, the space industry is already in an exponential growth phase due to the rising need for global data on a satellite imaging, positioning, and navigation. According to a Deloitte analysis, private equity has invested over 272 billion US dollars in 1791 companies since 2013. By 2025, it is anticipated that India's space industry will be worth 13 billion US dollars. India's technological supremacy will also be demonstrated by a successful moon landing. Chandrayaan 1 India's first lunar mission achieved nearly all of its mission aims and scientific objectives, including finding the first signs of water on the lunar surface. On the other hand, the spacecraft's projected two-year mission was just 312 days old when the Indian Space Research Organization lost communication with it. Nevertheless, Chandrayaan 1 has received recognition from the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics and the National Space Society, making it a great success in the eyes of many. On September 6, 2019, India made another attempt to land on the moon using the Chandrayaan 2 missions, Vikram Lander and Pragyan Rover. However, contact with the lander was lost about 2.1 kilometers above the lunar surface, and NASA photos later proved it had collided with the surface. The spacecraft's failure has been linked to problems with onboard control of the five engines and lander orientation during the camera coast and final braking stages of its descent. In the previous three years, two other nations' attempts to land on the moon have also failed due to problems with onboard software and autonomous landing sequences. If Chandrayaan-3 is a success, it will show how space is becoming more accessible and highlight India's ongoing determination and perseverance in completing challenging missions. It is also encouraging for India's participation in the current race to establish a permanent base on the moon. With each successful trip, humankind's understanding of the lunar surface and environment advances, lowering the dangers involved in landing and remaining on the moon.